You can see the retail box and packaging right here. Check it out, very simple and straightforward. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our product literature right here with our five year warranty with QR code and their customer service email address. Next, you can see we have our user guide and manual right here walking us through important safety instructions as well as how to use and operate the heater with helpful charts and diagrams going over all the settings and controls. Really diving into all the features and functions how to replace the battery, and we have our tech specs right here. So 1500 watts for high, 900 watts for low. They also have your care and maintenance as well as troubleshooting information. Next you can see we have the included remote control with their logo and branding and all of our different buttons. So you can see that and how everything looks. And lastly, we have our space heater. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. Here's a close up of the unit. You can see from the top right here, we have our six touch controls and we have our nice big LED display. Now you can see from the back side of the unit, we have a built in handle and you can see our air intake. We also have an integrated power cable. Here it is from the right side of the unit. Here it is from the left side of the unit. Here it is from the front of the unit. You can see we have the Dreo logo and branding and we have a cutout right here on the front where you can see where all the hot air is gonna come out of the unit. Lastly, you can see the unit from the bottom right here. Check it out. We have more product information and you can see the four rubber feet that support the unit. And this is an oscillating unit. So this will be able to rotate the unit to the left and to the right. Now we have the unit plugged in. We have a red indicator light on the front right above the logo, letting us know that there's power to the unit. So now let's go ahead, let's turn it on. You can see very responsive with the touch controls and take a look at the beautiful display that we have letting us know the temperature we currently have it set to. So after the power button, we have our different modes. We have high, low, or eco, which will cycle between high and low depending on the ambient temperature of the room. We have our minus and plus buttons. So we can set the temp ourselves. So let's see how far down it goes. 50 degrees all the way up to, let's hold it. I think it's 90. And you can see we can hold it down or we can press it multiple times depending on what we want. Wow, that's really hot heat already. All right, so 90. Oh, wow, we're going past 90. It looked like, and we went down to 40. So 95 and 41, I stand corrected. 41's the lowest, 95's the hottest right there. Then we have our oscillation so you can see how far it's gonna rotate to the left and to the right. So there's our max rotation in that direction. We'll see what we can accomplish this way too. Ooh, very hot. Probably right about there maybe. So you can see the oscillation range with my hands, not too bad. And then we can stop that. And lastly, we have our timer. So one hour, two hours, three hours, all the way up to 12 hours. Or we can turn it off. If we want to have it run for X amount of times between zero and 12 hours, then it will shut down automatically. Now let's go ahead, let's see how loud this is. All right, so you can see we maxed out at 51.7 decibels, so almost 52 decibels. This unit runs nice and quiet. Again, that's just the max range that we got. Typically, these run at around 50 to 60 decibels and peak somewhere maybe 65, maybe even 70. So this one is on the quieter side of space heaters. Obviously, whatever space heater you end up going with, it's going to make noise that's unavoidable, but this one is definitely on the quieter side. When it comes to space heaters, safety is of utmost importance. With this particular unit, we have three key safety features built in. The first one is 24 hour auto shutoff. It's exactly as it sounds. When this unit runs for 24 hours, anytime after that, it will shut down automatically for your safety. The next feature is tip over protection. So watch what happens. You can see, I'm gonna lay it down right here. The unit's gonna start beeping. It's initiating the shutdown. We have a P4 code on the screen that is normal. It's sensed that the unit is on its side and it's gonna shut down for us, for our own safety. Sometimes with these units, you'll have a little lever down here, but this one is all managed and done internally. And lastly, this has overheat protection. So if the unit gets to a temperature of 122 degrees Fahrenheit or greater, it will shut itself 
down for your protection again. And if you want to reactivate the unit, unplug it from the wall, give it some time to cool down. And once that temperature drops below 122 degrees Fahrenheit, you'll be able to plug it in and power it on and use the space heater again. Lastly, you might be wondering, well, hey, how hot does this unit get? So testing it out with the high heat settings, we got a peak temperature of 263.9 degrees Fahrenheit, almost 264 degrees. Safe to say this unit gets really, really hot, giving you nice warm air. So now let me share with you my final thoughts after using this space heater. First up, why would you buy this particular unit? Well, here is the reasoning why. So you're looking for a really safe space heater that has 24 hour shutoff, our tip over protection and our overheat protection. You want touch controls, an LED screen, you want a remote control, you want the tower design and the oscillation. That's gonna be why you're buying this particular unit. Now, with that being said, why wouldn't you buy this unit? Maybe you'll go with another one because you find one at a better price. And the second thing for me personally, after using a bunch of space heaters, this one has a 15 second cooldown basically for the unit to shut off. So if the heater is running and you power it down, there's a countdown clock that begins and it takes 15 seconds to shut down. 